Are you ready to unlock the secret to a life of unparalleled tranquility and purpose? Imagine transforming your evenings into a sacred space of reflection and renewal. Now get this, Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a mastermind of Stoicism, had already cracked the code nearly 2,000 years ago. Today, we're unveiling seven timeless evening rituals that this ancient ruler used to elevate his life. The only thing I ask of you is not to skip this video in any way. If you're here, consider yourself different from the majority. Consider yourself an exception. Now act like one and don't skip any chapter. So buckle up, beautiful souls, because this journey is your ticket to a life you've only dreamed of. Number one, unplug and reconnect with yourself. Marcus Aurelius said, it is in your power to withdraw into yourself whenever you desire. He was a man who knew the importance of turning off the noise and tuning into his own being. In our world today, we are surrounded by a cacophony of social media notifications, TV shows, and endless to-do lists. It's like being in a noisy marketplace 24-7. How do we find inner peace amid this chaos? Simple, disconnect to reconnect. Marcus Aurelius advised us to carve out time to be alone with our thoughts, to retreat within the sanctuary of our mind. The Persian poet Hafez once said, I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. And guess what? You discover this light by giving yourself the gift of solitude. So spend your evening unplugged, away from the screen, to embrace the peace within you. Number two, move that body. Marcus Aurelius reminded us, it is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of which his body is capable. This is so relevant, right? How often do we neglect our physical health because we're too busy? Yet the Stoic Emperor knew the undeniable connection between a healthy body and a vibrant spirit. Exercise, my friends, is not just about shedding pounds or building muscles. It's about celebrating what your body can do. So, dedicate some time in your evening to physical activities that bring you joy. As Rumi aptly said, let the beauty of what you love be what you do. Number three, reflect on the day Marcus believed in the power of review. He said, nothing has such power to broaden the mind as the ability to investigate systematically and truly all that comes under thy observation in life. Why is this so crucial? Because reflection allows us to pause and take stock of our lives. It's like taking a quiet stroll through the garden of your day, smelling the roses and also noticing the weeds. This practice can be as simple as writing down what made you happy, what challenged you, and what you learned. The act of penning down your thoughts is like having a heart-to-heart -heart with your own soul. Before we jump to number four, hey, if you're finding value in this video, hit that subscribe button. Your support means the world, and it ensures you don't miss out on future pearls of wisdom. Number four, Seek inner wisdom. Marcus often asked himself, what would Zeno do? He looked up to Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, as his sage, his role model. We all have someone we look up to, someone whose actions and decisions resonate with our inner compass. Spend a few moments in your evening contemplating the wisdom of those you admire. Like Rumi said, what you seek is seeking you. This could be the wisdom you need to navigate the complexities of life. Number five, Elevate your perspective. Marcus urged us to adopt a cosmic viewpoint, to see our lives as a small part of an infinite universe. When we elevate our perspective, the problems that seemed gigantic suddenly appear minuscule. It's like soaring above the maze of life and realizing there's a way out. You're not trapped. You just needed a higher vantage point. Number six, cherish family time. Marcus was a family man. He reminded us that life is transient, saying, For the present is all that they can give up, since that is all you have and what you do not have, you cannot lose. Hafez also said, This place where you are right now, God circled on a map for you. So be present with your family, cherish the moments, and fill your home with love and laughter. Number seven, set the stage for tomorrow. Marcus was all about action and less about procrastination. He believed in setting the stage today for a grand performance tomorrow. So before you drift into the world of dreams, prepare for the dawn of a new day. As Marcus would probably say, carpe diem, or seize the day. But first, seize the night by planning for a fruitful tomorrow. And there you have it. 
Seven evening rituals inspired by Marcus Aurelius to enrich your life. If you loved this episode, don't forget to check out our playlist on Stoicism. And hey, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Remember, you're not just a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Until next time, peace and love to you all.